Hello everyone, John here with Web Dev for You, here to help you build awesome websites without code in Webflow. Um, yeah, if you're new here, um, I have been doing these live streams for the past couple of months from every Monday through Thursday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. And I've gone over things like uh, building layouts in Webflow, working with different design systems, uh, creating animations and interactions, and uh, just discussing with the, the chat and the community uh, about anything related to Webflow. Um, so this is going to be a quick live stream. It's not going to be the full hour. Um, I do have an, announce an announcement to make. Um, I'm going to be stopping the live streams for the time being. Um, I'm a little bit, um, I wouldn't say overwhelmed, but I have a lot of different things going on at the moment, and I can't quite sustain the, the live stream or continue it. Um, also, I'm running out of content to really cover. Um, I feel like covering certain topics for over, over two months, there's only so much I feel I can continue to go over, and otherwise it just gets repetitive. Um, so, so yeah, I'll stay here for the first maybe 20 minutes or so, uh, but just wanted to announce that. Um, I'll still probably post videos on my YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how that goes. I do have to say I've been in web development for a while now, so I have to reassess if I want to continue kind of uh, with with all of this. I, I'm still doing projects for clients, but um, yeah, just have to reassess a little bit. But uh, it's been a lot of fun, um, you know, chatting every day with everyone and, uh, you know, going over different things in Webflow. Um, I'll still be creating templates, so if you're interested in templates, you can check this out. Um, Appreciate it, Alan, for sure. Um, yeah, you can check out my templates here. Um, you know, the interactions and layouts we've built can all be found here. Um, those will still be accessible. Uh, so, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of content. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot of YouTubers right now providing a lot of great Webflow content. And Webflow in general, their videos are great. So if you need help with Webflow, you can just watch their videos. Um, Webflow also has a great community. Um, you know, the Webflow forums, uh, you know, Timothy Ricks does great videos. FinSuite is doing, I think, more videos now. Uh, but yeah, I'll still be doing templates, but as far as doing a live stream every uh, Monday through Thursday, I have to kind of let that go for the moment, just uh, for my own sanity a little bit and to make sure I have time for other, other projects and things like that. So, um, yeah, the goal was to, to do this for a while, but uh, yeah, I see it's, I, I can't quite do it every every day. Um, but yeah, if you wanna ask the question, Amkar, I'll see if I can answer it. Otherwise, I'll just sign off, sign off early and, um, and yeah. But you can check out my website, Webflow, you know, check out Webflow here in Vital Elements, learn UI design. Um, these videos will be on my YouTube channel. Um, Alan wrote, so you've actually been posting so much content, I found it hard to keep up. I would have been happy with one stream every few weeks. You were doing it several times a week. Yeah, yeah, I think I have that issue. Somebody else mentioned that before. Like they said, you shouldn't maybe do so many, but I don't know. I have this thing where like I want to do something consistently in order to, to stay on top of it. But yeah, I, I, I was thinking of that like once a week, but um, at this point, I'm gonna just step back, reassess, and if I do decide to do once a week, I'll, I'll announce it on my YouTube channel with like a a, a YouTube post or something like that. But um, for the time being, I'm just gonna step back and reassess. Uh, but I appreciate that, Alan. Um, I know it's a lot of content. Um, and ma mainly I wanted to get like a feel or a gauge for where everyone was at with Webflow. And I wanted it to be like a, kind of like a, like a pillar or like a place where you could you know, ask for help or, or get Webflow information. <clears throat> but after working at Webflow for two years and then doing the live stream, like I, I left Webflow because it was pretty intense, you know, doing customer support uh, like seven hours a day. And then I just kind of jumped right back into, you know, doing more Webflow stuff and just need to step back a bit. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. Uh, so I'm Karo. I want to create a timeline on page. It's like, as we scroll, line follows in zigzag manner. Um, I haven't made that in the past, Amkar. Um, but that sounds like a Lottie animation. Like, 
um, yeah, like I'm actually doing something f- like that for a client. Uh, basically, you want to like create a Lottie animation with trim paths, and uh, <clears throat> just as the page is scrolling, just have the animation draw out. So, like in After Effects, you could draw a zigzag, and then using the trim path feature, uh, draw out the zigzag then drop it into Webflow and then animate it using using the Lottie feature in Webflow. Um, <clears throat> I guess I can cover that really quickly um, for you, Omkar. And uh, yeah, this will just be a few minutes. Just to give you an idea of what I would do here, it's gonna be pretty rough because I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but you know, let's say we do a 1000 or like a 20, no, it would be more like 500 by 1000. Let's try something like that. And it might be thinner than this, but we're going to try this. And let's do that one more time. Uh, wait, okay, so here it is. So I would just uh, draw a path, like a zigzag, something like that. It's not a great zigzag. You'd obviously want to make it more symmetrical. But just uh, draw a zigzag, then set the stroke. Here, I'm going to set it to black. All right, so we have a zigzag there. And I can just grab it. And then uh, I'll go to the shape. Contents will add a trim path. And then we'll open the trim path and we'll just animate the end, right? So we'll just click on the end, start it at zero, go to one second maybe, and animate it to 100. So we have that zigzag. And then we can export it, window extensions, body move in. Uh, Oh, I have a quick question. How would you generally do go about implementing the rotating lion's head on FinSuite website? Yeah, I think that's uh, 3.js, um, which FinSuite probably has some good experience with that. Uh, I'm going to save it here, just save data.json. Let me open up a Webflow project. And this is just really rough uh, here, but uh, we'll, we'll try it out. All right, so let me drag and drop this file, if I can find it. Oh, I must have not rendered it. Okay, render. All right, there it is. Okay, so we've rendered it. Just go into Webflow. I'll drop this data.json file. And then, um, yeah, let me just add a section. So you'd probably want to do something like it depends on your design, but this is just a rough like way to do it. I'm going to give this 500 VH in height, set it to center center. And I'm going to add a Lottie animation, um, replace Lottie sequence with this line. And here, actually, let me set this section to 100 VH or 200 VH. Okay, so we have the Lottie. So what I can say is for the section, um, we can add, a, while scrolling in view, I'll play scroll animation, start an animation. Here, I'll select the Lottie animation at 0%, we'll do Lottie, and then at 100%, we'll animate it to 100%. Um, so as you scroll, and let's see why didn't that work oh yeah zero percent here and so you can see as i'm scrolling the line gets drawn and you'd have to work with the placement of the line but basically that's how i would do it um <clears throat> and i could even here let me add another section and set this to here and do 100 VH and then let me place the section at the top here 
All right, so we scroll and it draws that line. All right, so hopefully that helped Ankar. Um, so Alan wrote, are you still planning to do web dev or are you considering career change? Um, I'll still be doing templates for web dev and I have a, a few clients I'm working for. Uh, but yeah, I am reassessing maybe career change in a way. Um, I've been doing working in web design for like over seven years now with, I had Muse for you and then I tried web dev for you. Then I tried working at Webflow and it's been an interesting journey as far as web development, but, um, just, just going to reconsider and, and reassess if, if, if I still have a passion for it, if it's still something that I like doing. It started with Muse, you know, like. I was making widgets every week for Muse and plugins, and that was fun. Um, but it was kind of a bummer when Muse got discontinued and um, kind of threw a wrench in my whole um, workflow in a way. So I had to reassess everything. And I think I just, I didn't really fully reassess or, or, or take into account like what my next move was. I just jumped right into Webflow. And I think since then I've been trying to recreate something that I had before and it's not quite working like it was before so um, I know the videos have been fun and a lot of people appreciate the videos but um, yeah I would need a more of a I don't know more a more strategic approach to, to how I do this um, you know I'm very I freestyle a lot of things and I just I go in and I just make videos and it's all it's all great it's all freestyled and i learn a lot and hopefully i provide a lot to the community um but but yeah yeah maybe motion graphics uh not quite sure um that's a possibility yeah uh but yeah i'll still be around i think i, I might make a video every once in a while uh, we'll see how that goes uh yeah so so it's been fun uh i think i might just end the stream at this point, hopefully that helped Amkar. You know, you just create a uh, a line that draws in After Effects, drop it into Webflow, and you'd obviously have to work more with the layout and how the line comes in. But that's the first step in creating a line animation or like a zigzag animation. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone who's uh, attended my live streams. Uh, just stepping back, if if. Uh, I come up with any new projects or you know decide to do one video a week or something like that you'll be the first to know i'll post a, a nice little note on my youtube channel and uh and yeah that's it for today's live stream definitely keep checking back web dev for you um, there should be new templates every once in a while and i'll be making uh, probably template videos for the templates as well so thanks alan thanks amkar uh, appreciate it thanks purple style uh, def it's definitely been fun. Um, and again, anything changes, I'll, I'll definitely post on my YouTube channel. Uh, but that's it. Signing off for now. Uh, there won't be live streams moving forward. And yeah, we'll see what's next as far as web dev for you. Um, but yeah, I'll make videos and, and keep you posted if anything changes or if I have any anything new that, I, that comes out or that I kind of want to share. Uh, but thanks, everyone. Have a great week. And uh, catch you on the flippity flip or yeah <laughs> all right thanks everyone see ya bye